Welcome to Trey's Talks to Grow. This is your monthly coaching and equipping resource. I'm Trey Baker, Chief Cultivator at the Mustard Seed Company. Our topic for this coaching video is Simple Messages Stick. Chip and Dan Heath review this idea in detail in the best-selling book, Made to Stick. As you listen and apply this information, you're going to grow as an effective communicator in all areas, from digital to one-on-one -on -one dialogue. Whether you're interacting with customers, colleagues, friends, or family members, simple messages reach across the attention span and give us the ability to understand and act. We've all heard the KISS adage, right? Keep it simple, stupid. I've never really liked that because I don't think that simplicity is about dumbing anything down. It's not that, well, it's not that simple. Um, Steve Jobs is reported to have said, it takes a lot of hard work to keep something simple. That's true not just with design, but with communication as well. In an effort to be great and communicate simple messages that will stick, you have to communicate the core and leave everything else out. Once again, that's a lot of hard work. That means you have to really dive into the message, dive into the idea, look closely at your marketing strategy or whatever it is you're trying to communicate and get to the big idea you're attempting to express. Then you have to have the courage to let that core message stand alone. So how do you discover your core message? Well, here's a few questions or statements that you can use that can help you get at the core message. First of all, what's the big idea you're attempting to communicate? Use that as a question. Number two, what's the opposite of what I'm attempting to communicate? Sometimes if you think about what's the opposite, can it really help you narrow down on the core idea you're trying to get to? Number three, What's the outcome I want to have happen as a result of this message? And then probably my, my favorite is this one right here. List three things in order of priority that you want people to understand or do as a result of your communication. Now, once you have those three things listed, eliminate all but the top one. Sometimes it's easy to lose the big idea, so you have to make sure you drill down on those questions and discover the core. So once we have our core, what do we need to add to it? Well, here's the deal. Core plus compact idea. Core plus compact idea. Now, what do I mean by compact idea? Well, there are many ways to add a compact idea to help explain or give context to your core message. Here's some for you to consider. Proverbs. Now, proverbs are a great way of communicating a lot of content in a short, powerful phrase. So we use them all the time if you think about it. If I were to say to you, do unto others, and just pause right there, chances are your brain filled in as you would have them do unto you, right? Let's try another one. A bird in the hand, right, is worth two in the bush, right? You couldn't help but fill that in, and those phrases carry a lot of meaning. When appropriate, proverbs are excellent at compacting an idea. At some point, there can even be corporate proverbs, for example, at Southwest Airlines, the line is, we will be the low-cost airfare provider. That impacts everything they do. At Starbucks, there's typically a sign near where you pick up your drink that reads, your drink will be perfect every time. If it's not, we'll remake it. These types of corporate proverbs allow employees to take everything the company stands for and simply act on it. They're simple messages that stick. To this day, I can remember my vice president at Sam's Club saying, everything we do should be focused on lowering costs and increasing service. That corporate proverb made things pretty simple. Schemas are another way to add a compact idea to your core message. Schemas are preconceived ideas that we carry around with us to help us sort through information. It's part of how our brain works. The idea is you're anchoring to something that people already understand. I love the show Shark Tank. It's a show where would-be entrepreneurs go into a boardroom and pitch their ideas to a group of investors. The name Shark Tank should kind of paint a picture for you about what it's all about. On a recent episode, I saw all these people step into the tank and struggle to say what their company was even about, even though they had these great elaborate presentations. Then a stay-at-home mom stepped up and said her company was Toy Guru and it was going to be the Netflix for children's toys. She had the sharks fighting to invest. Of course, she had more information to back it up, but by using something they could mentally anchor to, she had them right away. 
So find a way to tap into the preconceived ideas of your audience and it'll help you simplify your message and then your message will stick. One more example here that taps into our psyches and demonstrates how powerful a sticky and simple message can be. This is an example of a multi-million dollar industry changing shift all because of two words. Have you ever heard of lean, finely textured beef or LFTB? It's a meat industry term and it represents an approved process where finely ground beef scraps and connective tissue have been mechanically removed from the fat, the recovered material is processed, heated, and treated with ammonia gas or citric acid to kill E. coli, salmonella, and other bacteria and yucky stuff. It is finely ground, compressed into blocks, and flash frozen for use as an additive to beef products. Yum, yum, right? Doesn't that sound delicious? Well, here's why you may have heard of it. While LFTB is the industry term, in 2002, a USDA microbiologist coined the term pink slime for this entire process. And this term has emerged in recent news stories beginning in March 2012, which reported that 70% of the ground beef sold in the U.S. contained, you guessed it, pink slime. The result has been that so far the nation's top three supermarket chains have announced they will no longer sell products containing, containing pink slime. Those two words reached into our brains and had us all say a collective yuck, right? So simple equals the core plus a compact idea. Emerson said it best when he said, to be simple is to be great. Here's to your being great at simple, sticky messages and increasing your effectiveness as a communicator. I'm Trey Baker with the Mustard Seed Company, coaching, training, and consulting for work, wealth, health, and self.